Hey guys, LBD again, and I'm here to talk to you about a little show that I was almost forced to watch. I was badgered to watch it. Watch this. You're going to love it. Watch this. I'll give you the Blu-ray CD, DVD thing, whatever. Watch it. Watch it. You'll love it. Game of Thrones. It's on HBO. You need HBO to do it. So I don't have HBO. So I borrowed it from at Anton Cinco on Twitter, at Anton Cinco on Twitter. He's my uh, partner on the podcast, so um, once we get one up, he'll be the co-host. Anyways, after much badgering by multiple people at work, you have to watch us. You have to watch us. Be geeky like us. Be geeky like us. I watched episode one, and I know now why you guys watch it, because you guys are perverted. You're perverse. You're sad. You're small people. You're perverse. It's nothing but naked ladies and boobies and butts, and and you guys are perverted. I loved it. Loved every second of it. There was a lot of boobs. I like boobs. A lot of naked ladies. I, I, I like naked ladies, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Naked ladies aside... Very boring. It was a boring. I understand that you have to do story and all that stuff. It was pretty boring. First scene, I could have swore with Donnie Wahlberg. I was like, Donnie Wahlberg, come on! Uh, some other guy. He dies. Whatever. Head cut off. Cut off. Who cares? Anyways. It was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. Um... You know the the king the 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 king of the one kingdom's there, and he's the guy from Lord of the Rings. And then the other guy comes in. He's saying, "I'm the king of all seven kingdoms. How can you be king of all seven kingdoms? How can you have a king and then a king of the king?" Maybe I didn't understand very well. I might not have. I was half paying attention. I was half drunk. Anyways, I wasn't that drunk. Anyways, so kind of weird. So the dude from the dude and the dude from the dude, whatever. But again, a lot of boobs. Um. The, the the dwarf from from that episode of 30 Rock was in it, which was pretty cool. Um, Liz Lemon's boyfriend or date for a couple – for whatever amount of time. He was in it. He was pretty cool. He was banging prostitutes like left and right. That was pretty cool I guess. Um, I hope I didn't ruin it for everybody else. But I'm not actually giving you any story, so I'm not ruining it at all. Tits. Anyways, um – that's all I have to say about the movie, about the TV show. Uh, episode one was okay. I give it about a C plus because they're trying to tell story, and I really don't care about story right now. I sh- I wanted to see people fight, maybe maybe head thrown around or two. There was one head thrown around, so that was pretty cool. Other than that, um, that's 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 it. All right, uh, geekthingspodcast.blogspot.com at geek underscore things and Anton Cinco at Anton Cinco on Twitter as well. Um, yeah, so rock on. Maybe I might post for this episode two. I don't know, but there's a lot to lot to comprehend. There's there's these people. There's these people. There's these people. These guys are tribal. Whatever. These guys are lame. These guys are English. It doesn't matter. Um. Oh, by the way. The kid dies. The kid dies. He pushes him. He pushes the guy out of the god. How can he kill a kid? He was only ten years old. God damn it! So I was a little bit sad about that, but other than that, not bad. I hope for uh, more fun and excitement on the next round, episode two of Game of Thrones. Happy playing.